let's talk about Volt Typhoon actors are seeking to preposition themselves using, and this is a, a really interesting te technique, and we've seen it succeed over and over again. They're really, real, absolutely using the, the lay of the land, right? In other words, they're living off of the aspects and the tools and the things that we give them access to, most of the time inadvertent, but, but that we allow them to have access to. And so it's really um, an interesting hacking technique and one that is part of a long game. Right, and if you were to compare living off the land techniques to other more traditional techniques where they drop, you know, you, it's, you start with a uh, foothold in the network and then they drop their own specialized tools, which is what we, we think of these days whenever there is a, um, a widespread exploit that then spreads laterally. Um, living off the land techniques just simply means they are poking around at what you, al what you already have installed, right? Whether it's on the system that they've got, gotten a foothold on or other network-based uh, services that they may be able to see. And they try to use tools as if they're already there, which means it's a lot harder to detect, even with AI, and it's of course possible, but even with AI, it's harder because they're doing things that are already present in the network. They're just exploiting what's there, and they're actually taking control of what's there and using what's there rather than dropping their own tools. Um, so it does make things a lot trickier, and it's, and it's something anytime you see living off the land, that's really what that means. Yeah, they're using our tools against us, really focusing. And it, and this is, is a successful technique, especially when we're trying to find them with the tools that they're using against us, right? So there's that overlap and that capability. We are seeing a dramatic increase against the threats against critical infrastructure. Um, some of them, most of them, are from nation states who want to harm us. And we're detecting more and more from China, but also from the Middle East right now, we're seeing a greater number, but also from Russia. Why? Because, well, because one, we exist, and two, we're helping others, and so therefore they, they want to have the ability at any moment, or in our worst moment, to hit us and to be successful on that, that attack. So when you look into this, and you really look at what Christopher Ray says about China's hackers are positioning on American infrastructure in preparation to wreak havoc and cause real world harm to American citizens and communities. And I would add to that at our worst possible time. So during a hurricane, that's when you would take out public safety, right? That's the worst case scenario. And that, or a tornado or earthquake or <laughs> any one of a million imaginable things so that they can hurt us in our, our most vulnerable moments. And so we're really seeing a great deal more of that. In fact, we've seen uh, an example here, City of, of Reading's digital infrastructure includes 15 different locations, 550 users, firewalls, and at least a thousand pokes a day is what they're having to deal with from the outside. And so this is just normal. This is part of what we have to defend against every day. And you know, our teams are doing an amazing job, but a thousand pokes a day is a lot to deal with. And, that's not a huge city, right? Understanding that that is possible.